All right, people, this is Jerry Teaches Chinese, and then I have Benny and Ian. And today we're going to go over the second part on how to say your colors in Chinese. So the first thing to know, I will teach you guys how to say colors. So color in Chinese is yan se. Yan se. Yeah, very good. Yan se. Yeah, yan se, exactly. So yan se is the word for color. You can also just say se, but se is a word you attach to a lot of other words, so it's better to say yan se. So yan se. Yan se. Yeah, exactly. Last lesson, you guys learned how to say red, which is hong, lan, which is blue, and then yellow, which is huang, and then we also learned white and black, bai and hei. So those are called primary colors. So today I'm going to teach you guys the secondary colors. Secondary colors are what you can make with your primary colors. For example, if you combine red with blue, you get purple. So to say purple, it's z. Yeah. 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 Like z. Z. Yeah. Z. Yeah. Z. So that is purple. If you combine red and yellow, you get orange. Which there's two ways to say it. One way is cheng. Cheng. Yeah. Cheng. Cheng. And then the other way is ju. Yeah, ju. So ju means orange in Chinese or tangerine. So because an orange has the color of an orange, some people will say ju hong. So orange red ju hong. But cheng is usually the word, the more professional word for orange. So cheng. 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 So the final secondary color we're going to explore is if you combine yellow and blue. So if you combine yellow and blue, you get green. So green is lü. Lü. Yeah, lü. Lü. Yeah, lü. We learned cheng, lü, and zi. Cheng, lü, and zheng. Lü. Cheng and zheng. Lü and zi. Zi. Yeah. Zi. Yeah, zi. Which which word do you like the best? Cheng. You like cheng? Yeah. It's easier Most to pronounce, right? Cheng. Yeah. Cheng. Cheng lü and zi. And then uh, we also learned how to say color, which is yan se. Yan se. Yan se. That's an easy one, right? Yan se. So in Chinese, this is pretty funny. You can also use the word yan se in a figurative way. Figurative, as in it doesn't have to mean color. If you get mad at your brother, you could say. Yeah, which means I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something and you're gonna you're gonna feel it. It's like I'm gonna beat you up basically. So yensa normally means colors, but sometimes you can use it to describe like a threat. Okay, so this was Jerry teaches Chinese. Now you guys know the secondary colors.